Hello sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria. If this happens to be your first time visiting, welcome to Siempre Infinitos DIY. So today I have this ornament that I found at the dollar store and actually it is for a, well it's a sensor light ornament. So when I saw it, I really loved the shape and wanted to bring it home with me and give it a whole new look. Also, I was thinking about placing it on my Christmas tree since I am doing a whimsical style in my craft room for Christmas. I thought that this would be a great addition to that tree. So as you see, all I'm doing here is just adding some clay. Now the type of clay that I'm using is actually soft uh, foam clay. So what I normally what I like to do is I like to take the clay out of the bag and just let it sit on my table for a couple of minutes you know just to, so it can get a little bit um, firm is actually the word I'm looking for and it's more easier to uh, use than if it would to, just to stay soft because sometimes it's way too soft and when I try to mold it into whatever it is that I'm molding at the time it's kind of hard and it has like a lot of dents and what have you so again like i said you know all i'm doing is just rolling out clay and then covering the whole ornament in different types of in different colors of the clay as you can see here also there are some dents now you will be seeing dents but not to worry they will once the clay dries up they will disappear just make sure that they're not too deep in or that there's any type of marks or whatever or air at that so I chose these three different colors because I thought that they combined really great together. Actually, it's four different colors now that I think about it. And uh, since they give it more of a whimsical look to it, I thought that that would have been just perfect. As always, I'm going to be leaving a list of all the items that I use in this video in the description box down below. So I just want to go off subject real quick, just to say that I apologize for going MIA on you. Uh, I posted this picture of this ornament a while back, just got a little discouraged when I saw another creator uh, posting their video. And to be honest with you, I didn't want to get any backlash uh, regarding the, the ornament or anything like that, So, which is why I didn't post the video. Uh, but then thinking about it, you know, I decided I didn't think it's fair to for myself not to do that and to hold myself back from continuing. I'm sure we're always getting ideas from each other. You know, is is just something that obviously I'm still learning um, how to deal with, and I I just thought that you know you guys needed to a reason why I haven't been posting anything. Not that I haven't been creating others, but. I do have a couple of more videos already in line um, right after this one. So I, again, I do apologize for not posting anything sooner. So as you saw, I did not use any sort a type of glue. I don't really think it's necessary when the clay is still uh, this soft. You know, it will hold on its own. If you like to use glue, that is totally your option. Um, but again if i don't have to use it i'll try not to now that i wrapped my entire ornament in these beautiful colors i am going to be adding strips right where the both color of clay meet for those who are wondering what type of clay i am using or which brand i am actually using great creations uh, clay i will be leaving a link to her uh, page over on facebook in the description box down below and for those who are not following me on Facebook I will be leaving my link to my page it is public so you, there's no need to pay or anything any type of fees over there and I'll just leave that link in the description box down below as well
I am really loving how these colors combine with each other. And where I added the strip, you want to make sure that you press down evenly and this way so when it dries there won't be any gaps in there and here I'm just using an icing tip to make little dots and then I'm going to place those in the center of my ornament which is all the green wherever the green is at or on the green clay um, but yeah you know so usually I don't like to use glue when I add glitter because I feel that the clay is soft enough that it holds on its own yes uh, some of it will come off but not all of it you know and again I thought that by adding glue it probably would have been better not necessarily uh, because well in my case I like to spray all of my creations after they dry with a clear adhesive and this makes it for me I've noticed that um, it helps it to prevent it from cracking well because again I was recording and I wanted to get it all done I chose to spray my piece after I added the glue and that's another thing I went in and added way too much glue there's something about glue and me we just don't connect <laughs> you know we just don't get along for whatever reason but anyways so I added way too much glue and then I went in with the glitter and so because I did not let it sit overnight or let it sit for a couple of days I when I went and sprayed it it just made the glue drip uh, and you'll probably see it towards the end uh, again if you choose to use your glue and of course if you use a lot of glue you want to let it dry completely before um, adding the spray if you choose to add the spray to it um, here you know you saw how much glue and I, I just poured in there I thought just like pouring a lot of it and then just brushing it down would have been just fine but in my case it wasn't but lesson learned you know I will know next time I'll just go a little easy with the clay uh, but yeah but you know what the more that I kept staring at this ornament I start getting other ideas and um, really love how it looks so I just can't wait to place it on my tree and see how that looks I am also working on others they have they have a little different shapes and those are actually ornaments and they're like those huge ornaments that I found at a secondhand store but yeah so this is a great idea if you guys are choosing to do or if you have already done one you know uh, share it with me you know I would love to see how yours came out um, but this is like the easiest thing it did take me a little long to uh, put it together only because I wasn't too sure about what colors I wanted to use and then I just started looking around in my room and I said you know what these are the colors I already have in here so this will look great plus these are some of the colors that are on my tree as well so yeah um, I'm adding a lot of glitter as you can see right now because again there was a lot of glue on there and I wanted to make sure that every angle or every piece of clay was covered uh, not piece of clay but the entire thing is what I meant to say and I think I kind of overdid it with the glue because once after I sprayed it down uh, instead of again waiting for to dry I sprayed it it just made the glue drip and it's like I said lesson learned lesson learned <laughs> anyways my friends so what do you think um would you do something like this and here is a closer look i really love the colors i love the style of the ornament i can't believe that i found this at the dollar tree and it's actually a sensor light um but anyway so yeah this is the end of the video thank you so much for stopping by and until the next time stay safe be kind bye